Hello everyone, it's me, Cindy Sun, and welcome to a very special video. I know people are a little bit sad that the Wainies are no longer, but I want to do something that kind of brings out the spirit of the old awards and combine it with something that elevates a show rather than just take all of them down so you have a nice balance. And I want to talk about the best game show the worst game show, and also the blandest game show of 2021. Yes, I know Zero Punctuation does the best, worst, and blandest of the year, and by the time this goes out, he's already released his top five best, worst, and blandest video games of 2021. And the same rules apply for this one. Only shows that I have watched this year qualify. So there may be a lot of mediocrity that was on uh, GSN or on a lot of streaming services, but I don't have said streaming services, so I can't judge. Okay? So, let's start out with the best. <laughs> For me, the best game show combines gameplay, entertainment, host, presentation, everything. And oddly enough, it's a show that's currently in syndication that is now in prime time. But they trimmed off the fatty bits and it is much more enjoyable than honestly the daytime counterpart, or should I say the prime access counterpart. And of course, that means the best game show of 2021, Celebrity Wheel of Fortune. The Just the banter going on between Pat, Vanna, and the celebrities makes it enjoyable. And also on the celebrity version, we actually got to see something that hasn't been done on the, on the regular Wheel of Fortune in quite a while. We had a million dollar winner. Sure that the ways that they have the million dollar wedge are, well, they're tilted in favor of the contestants, but I don't care. It happened. And I'm glad it happened. Also, the celebrities themselves just interacting with this game makes it a ball to watch. I've heard some people say that this is the equivalent to 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown in the UK here in the US. And you know what? I take it. I really take it at all. Because that show is really entertaining as all hell. And so is Celebrity Wheel of Fortune. So, with that being said, Celebrity Wheel of Fortune, best game show of 2021. Now, before we get to the worst, what was the blandest game show of 2021? It's alright, I guess. Now, to me, the blandest game shows a show that pretty much did nothing for me. Or it was a show that did something for me in the past, but no longer does. Like, it's tired, it's stale, needs to be put out to pasture. Wait a minute. Stale? Ah. Now I need to get to my blandest. And unfortunately for my deep fandom of this show... Hell's Kitchen is the blandest game show of 2021. The problem with that, with this is, there's nothing to it anymore. It's bland. I mean, they tried to season it with having it be a, a young gun. They had a young gun season where everybody was under the age of 24. And it didn't really work. I mean, they had the personalities, but it just never clicked. Also, the format just isn't there. Like, it relies way too heavily on gimmicks now. And I just miss the original styling of the show, where it felt raw. And not in the, the cow is mooing type of raw, but the grittiness and it just felt like everything was natural instead of it being a total caricature of what it is now needless to say 
I think the show went under after season 11. And that's when you start to see an overabundance of gimmicks. And it just stopped working for me. It really did. Gordon is still good. And I think Christina being the new Red Kitchen sous chef. Actually, she's been the sous chef for a long time. She originally started as a... Uh, fill in for chef andy and when she got pregnant i think in season 14 or 15 but she does a good job uh jay or blue boy did a good job as the sous chef in the blue kitchen but just everything else felt old hat now I finally get why Survivor adds all of these advantages and they change the game, they shake it up. And honestly, I think Hell's Kitchen kind of needs to do the same. I mean, do something to shake it up. Add something new. But blandness does not mean worst. And now let's talk about the worst. <laughs> was weird for game shows there were a lot of good ones there were a lot of mediocre ones but i didn't quite see any bad ones i know a lot of people wanted me to do name that tune as a bad game show but that was just eh, it was all right i mean jane krakowski was monotonous and dull but at least everything else about the show was pretty good but then i remembered fox and it did have a lot of potentials i mean the Masked Dancer was awful. Um, Alter Ego was weird. Once again, name that tune. But then I remembered February. Yeah. Worst game show of 2021. Cherry's Wild, i.e. Cherry Pepsi the Game Show. Now, everybody loved the Joker's Wild. Even the Snoop Dogg revival was fantastic. However, Cherry's Wild doesn't work. The format isn't that good. And it just seemed lazy. And what made matters worse was the disclaimer that they had out of every show, which really exposed their hand as to how they didn't try. Or how it really irked me to the point where I consider it the worst. Let's take a look at the disclaimer that's on at the end of every show. The program does not use a real slot machine. Well, neither did the Joker's Wild. Each spin in a particular game is the product of a gameplay combination that is determined in advance by the programmer's producer. Okay. So that tells me they got pretty, pretty lazy. I mean, it's not that hard to program a slot machine or stuff that randomly generates. So if you all remember the old Flash games from back in 2000, 2001, 2002, they had Face the Devil, the... Uh, Joker's Wild bonus game. That was done in Flash. And with all of the technology they have, the, pe the, the Flash games people pulled off a slot machine more than what the people on Cherry's Wild did. So, knowing that each spin is a combination programmed in advance really takes out the atmosphere. Let's continue. On each tape day, an independent outside compliance company randomly assigns those predetermined combinations to the contestant teams taping that day. At least one of the contestant teams on each tape day will receive a combination that has the potential to lead to the grand prize if the game is successfully played to its conclusion. Okay, 
let's talk about this. Cherry's Wild had it predetermined on certain contestants that you can't win the quarter million dollar grand prize. To me, that is low. I mean, you tell your contestants you could win a quarter million dollars and knowing a slot machine and its odds, it is conceivable that you could get all of the cherries. But the way they mapped it out, with some contestants, you could not win the money. To me, that speaks volumes in how awful this is. Lying to your contestants that you could win a quarter million dollars. It's up there. You could win it. But, knowing backstage, like, <laughs> yeah, right. You already planned this in advance. They're not winning. <laughs> no. Immediately, hard no. You don't do that. And combined with the fact that Jason Biggs wasn't that good of a host, the set was just, eh. Format was, eh. That disclaimer at the end kills it. It's like steak, cold case files, it's gone, it's done. It is no more, it has ceased to be, it is an X game show. It only lasted the six episodes and thankfully it was scuttled away. I think Pepsi used to stop. Don't make any game shows. Play for a billion wasn't that good. And this show was just trash. Absolute trash. Worst game show of 2021. Cherry's Wild. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this wonderful video. Uh, if What are your picks for the best, worst, and blandest game show of 2021? Leave a comment below. Thumbs up the video. If you want to see more best, worst, and blandest in the future. And share this video. And you know, subscribe to this channel and click on the bell when new videos come up. They'll come up every Wednesday and every Sunday. However, if you're a Patreon backer, you get those videos Saturday. So if you want to see all of the Sunday videos one day in advance, become a Patreon backer at patreon.com slash game show gumbo. One dollar a month gets you early access. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And until next time. Bye-bye, and may 2022's game shows be a lot better than this piece of garbage.